Hey guys, what's going on? This is Noob Sniper back again playing some Minecraft. But uh, instead of playing, instead of continuing the Let's Play, we are going to continue it. Just saying, uh, this is an extra little video, kind of like a bonus video, showing my other file. Um, my other file is a file that I play when I'm not playing uh, through my Let's Play or recording. Uh, this is just uh, the first file I ever had, and what I like to do. If I snivel a bit, I'm sorry, my allergies are acting up and a little congested right now. So. This is the area around my uh, my little fort. This is the mining sh one of my mining shafts. These are the, uh, the trees that I've built on top of each other. You basically, I found a tree on the hillside, uh, actually a few trees on the hillside, and I just uh, dug a hole, took some dirt, placed it, and then I would place a sapling on top, and it grows from the uh, tree. And that's pretty cool. Um, out in the distance over there, where it's a little lit up, is a, a huge cave system that has a lot of natural resources, and that's mainly how I get mined, so oh, that's cool. Uh, I have trees planted around my area, and uh, like you can see here, that's my house. I don't want to... Well, whatever. This, this is my house. I made this out of wood, this out of stone. Uh, sort of like a night and day kind of effect. Didn't really work out well, but that's cool. Uh, this is a... A treehouse doorway. I accidentally uh, broke a couple blocks here, so I had to re replace them. But uh, this is this is the way I get out uh, to the. Let's see if I can get this right. The south side, no, east. Yeah, south side of um, my Minecraft world. Before going to the house, uh, we got a few. Just want to show you. That's what it looks like, you know, from a distance. Uh, this is my uh, garbage disposal. It's just a lava pit. If I have uh, you know extra resources, I just toss them in here. Uh, and they get disposed of. Uh, this is an underground tunnel to my animal farm and cactus farm. Uh, this is actually a typo. It's not supposed to be uh, to my cactus farm. It doesn't. But uh, before we do that, this is my cactus farm. <laughs> so I open up here. What the hell are you doing? Oh, they spawn because of uh, they spawn because of the cact the extra grass here. That's okay. I got my cactus farm going on. Uh, it's not automatic. I just put water like that. It's pretty much just straight through the whole way. Uh, I have to manually mine them like that. That's cool. Uh, that's the exit to the animal farm, but I'm going to show you the cooler way I like to uh, get there. As you can hear, as you can maybe hear, the uh, chickens are actually killing themselves because the cactus fl inflicts some damage. Uh, here's a little my one of my first tributes to uh, David 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 R64YT. I apologize for mispronouncing your name. Uh, he's one of the uh, I would say maybe not the most of not okay maybe not the first Minecraft LP -er, but uh one of the most consistent and one of the uh most well known uh as of late uh he uh in one of his videos he uh showed how to use redstone dust to create switches and all that and I took exactly what he said I hid uh, most of the stuff behind the wall and created a double door switch uh if you want the link is uh vid link to that video is in the description Here's a pressure plate so I can open the door. And uh, why I mainly have that is that if I do accidentally leave these doors open um, on a non-peaceful difficulty, the uh, last thing I need is for the doors to be open, a uh, any enemies to walk down through here and come in uh, unsuspectingly into my base. So I uh, keep this door closed. That's more for decorative purposes. And I use this mine, that uh, pressure plate, to uh, to get through the doors. So out here, uh, originally was supposed to be my, well, frame of issues, originally was supposed to be my greenhouse, I was going to make a huge greenhouse here of cacti, uh, but I did it uh, where, back there in my base. Now it's just a uh, little, you know, nice beach area, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. That's a spire, if you don't know what a spire is, it's basically, you build uh, with any resource from the ground up, and you cover it in torches so that it acts as a landmark. That's a beautiful sun sunrise. It acts as a landmark, so if I'm traveling uh, east, uh, I can see this and say, okay, well, I know my base is, you know, somewhere down here uh, to the west. And uh, as you can see, those are my trees in the background. I do have fog enabled, so uh, those are the trees. You can see them. Uh, let's go back and uh, show you quickly the animal farm. And lovely, it closes right behind me. So I got a little ladder here. Uh, the animals don't fall down through here, luckily. I don't think they can or something. Uh, and here it is. This is the animal farm. You got some trees going on. Another gigantism tree. Uh, I do cut these down uh, occasionally. Now, 
Why I call this Animal Farm? Well, it's a huge uh, flat pasture of green green grass, and if you know, uh, animals such as cows, sheep, and pigs, they uh, spawn on green grass, and open, open fields are uh, more likely for them to spawn. Uh, additionally, I saw a lot of them spawning here already, so I knew this would be a perfect area for one of those uh, little, you know, farms. And uh, one of the main features of this uh, farm is the ability to uh, prevent animals from leaving. Uh, this is the only way to get out of this without... Um, with, well, that's the only way to get out, actually. Uh, this is a two-foot high wall inside. They can uh, jump in, of course, but they can't jump out. So, I'm going to pass this up. I did have a sheep, um, actually, I, before I had this here, they actually strafe jumped out, and I was just like, damn, that thing is an MLG Pro. Uh, so, two-foot high wall, again, they can't get out, and neither can I. So, I'm going to go back through here, and uh, let's actually explore my, uh, my main residential area, which is my house. Uh, Hopefully this video isn't boring you guys too much, I'm sorry. Uh, here's a tree that literally just sprouted. I have trees all around, like I said for, or maybe I haven't said it, uh, just for quick resources. So here's my house, uh, very modest, very small. Uh, this is my first uh, building, so I didn't really expand. Um, let's just go through the lockers really quick. This is my resource locker, got some uh, finished products here, um, and just raw resources there. Uh, this is my uh, one of my main chests. It's uh, the coal, the steel bars, uh, redstone dust, diamond, gold, gunpowder, uh, armor, uh, lots of leather, some extra sticks, and a few ladders. Actually, I should just put these while I'm here. Put that there. Uh, this is my food locker. I have just a bunch of food in here. Uh, before the cactus farm was a wheat farm, and I collected a ton of wheat, and I should be good for food if I ever need it. Crafting bench, a couple of uh, furnaces. And here's another chest, uh, natural resources, and this is like the arrow section. Uh, there's a bow, some feathers, arrows. These are just picked up arrows from uh, from skeletons. Um, some extra arrowheads or flint, uh, st string, and uh, an e a couple eggs. I know eggs are completely useless uh, right now, but they're there. Whatever. Got some extra bucks in there too. This is the uh, wood and wood-related stuff and glass-related stuff. So that's that. Not, nothing too special here. And here's the second floor. I literally just finished this uh, maybe a week ago or so. Here's the extra room uh, dedicated to, again, David uh, David R 64 yt YouTube channel uh, is in the description. Um, he likes to make a lot of rooms in his, uh, in his Let's Play and in his little X-Fort, as he calls it. So, uh, in his most recent video, he said that he puts a torch above some doorways to add a decorative uh, little thing. That's what I did in a uh, tribute to him. Here's a nice room. Add a lot of glass windows uh, for not only making it look bigger, but, you know, it's a nice, beautiful view of both the uh, sunrise and sunset. And uh, it's actually about high noon right now, give or take. Yep, a little, uh, about 11 o'clock. Uh, so we close this, and again, the wood to signify there's a, a, an opening or so of some sort. So this is my storage facility. I uh, got some extra materials in here, some clay, some saplings, hose, uh, natural resources like wool, uh, and extra signs. This is an empty chest, which I am going to use sooner or later. Leave here, go upstairs to the final floor of my uh, fortification. This is the roof. Uh, took a lot of time to do this, a lot of finished stone. Got a um, built-in skylight from the bottom up, so I always have some natural light uh, pouring in. Uh, this is my tree house that I built. Uh, it was on one of those uh, gigantism trees, probably one of the biggest trees I've ever, ever seen. Uh, it was way bigger than this. It was uh, no word of a lie, uh, absolutely huge. It, from where that torch was, it went up, and the base of it was right here, exactly where my tree house is. So you can just imagine how big that tree was. It was huge. If you see that tree in the distance, multiply that by two. That's how big it was. It was. Like the biggest tree I've ever seen, single tree. Uh, it was a gigantism tree, so it was, you know, mutated or whatever, but uh, it was pretty big. This is my, uh, my tree house. Don't have uh, much going on here. Don't know what I'm going to do with it. If you have any suggestions for uh, this or anywhere else, uh, feel free. Uh, this is, again, the uh, 
<laughs> I love those trees, those tree spires. As to the roof, um, if I do have, uh, if I do play on different difficulty, I can shoot down at enemies from up here. And yeah, so that's about it, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you weren't uh, terribly bored. And uh, that's about that. About concludes this video as my uh, tree starts spawning. I hope you guys enjoyed. And peace out.